Alright guys, so hitting the center of the club face is very important for consistency. It can actually affect your ball flight. So what we have here is a simple trick to check where you're hitting it on the club face. You can get a can of uh, Dr. Scholl's foot spray and just spray the club face and they'll show you exactly where you're hitting. So let's go ahead and try it, Dan. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead and hit that for us. Let's go ahead and show the camera where you hit that. Dead center. Perfect. So you can see very clearly where he hit that on the face. And you could probably hit a couple more here and it'll still show. You want to try one more? Absolutely. All right. see where those are hitting so after you're done doing this you want to go ahead and wipe the club face with a towel because you don't want to leave that residue on there uh, it's not going to damage the club but you just don't really want that residue on there so Dan you want to go ahead and talk about uh, how where you hit the ball on the face can affect your ball flight yeah definitely so I think the first thing is, is just like we talked about in our ball flight basics video you want to be focused on hitting it in the center of the face for a number of reasons obviously you need to get more speed the ball is going to go further, but for diagnosing what your ball is doing for face and path, it's crucial, especially with a driver, that you're hitting it in the center. So my first ball, I hit it dead center of the face, and that ball actually started pretty much right at the target and had just a little bit of a draw curvature to it. So knowing what I know about ball flight, because the ball started straight at my target, I know that the club face was square, and because it curved a little right to left, I know that my path was just a little bit more right than where the face angle was. So, um, and that, that's a desired ball flight for me. I like hitting it, you know, sort of a high right to left draw. Um, the one that was hit a little bit more towards the toe was a ball that still started pretty straight, but it had a little bit more right to left curvature on it. And I could feel it right away. So what's happening is, is at impact, that toe of the club hitting the golf ball, if you look at it in high speed, it will actually kind of turn the golf club this way. And what that will do is offset a ball that would otherwise want to go dead right, and it'll make it kind of turn to the left. So vice versa, if you hit it a little bit more on the heel, you're going to get the opposite effect. So you're going to get a club that kind of bends more with the toe going in, and then that's going to offset and then kick the ball going left to right. So I think for most of you, it's just important to um, spray your club face. See, number one, are you consistent with where you're contacting it? Because if you're not, that could be a huge issue. Um, but if you are hitting that in the center of the face, and, and this drill obviously is, is great for seeing that, now you can diagnose your ball flight. Yeah, definitely. And uh, that's a really good point. Technology has really showed us that where you hit it on the face can affect the spin on the golf ball something that instructors call gear effect. And we're not gonna get into it very technically, but it does have a major effect on ball flight. So make sure you're striking in the middle and then you can properly address your face and path relationship and start hitting better shots.